So, race 17. It's the two and a half mile grade one hurdle, the Aintree hurdle. So, Senchi Silent for Vinnie Gerard, Darren Thompson's ex adventure, Mafel Remo for David Robertson, National Guard for Daniel French, along with Pen and Ink, Seven Towers for Martin Needham, Volcanic Impact and Apache Drums for Liam Van Rensburg, Beach Breeze for David Hooley, Craig Beckwith's Big Penny, Judge Anderson for Joshua Sutherland, David Hooley's Last Word, Lifestyle Biscuit for Derek Hinton, Darren Thompson's Port X, or Port O, and Raging Thunder. For Joshua Sutherland, make a nice big field of 15 here. Starlam's got to wait. Sadly, the clouds have come back in and the rain's starting to pour again. But the conditions are still soft. As we wait for these to settle down, they start in the back straight. And the entry hurdle over two and a half miles. They're into the first of the 12. And then we'll get over that well. And it's a Mafal remote for David Robertson that leads us. Although reluctantly fairly keen hold, pulling for his head as they all get over the second, the one that was a little bit slow for that was pen and ink for Daniel French just at the rear. As they come to the third, the leader's over it well. And running really wild, wide here is Volcanic Impact, along with Big Penny. They're also going to get a little bit uh, of a length or so as they take this first turn through the woods and it's Mafal Rumo that still leads us from seven towers and moving to second now and then we've got Last Word and Judge Anderson together and although Last Word was a little slow over that allowed Judge Anderson to take third on his own. Widest of all here and now is Raging Thunder although being followed by Volcanic Impact I think there but up front is still this Mafal Remo with a four length advantage from seven towers and Judge Anderson and Beach Breeze and Senchi Silent and Raging Thunder out wide, Bordeaux middle of the pack, National Guard and Lifestyle Biscuit for Del Hinton. Last words up against the route as they go over the fifth. They all clear that and then just the ones towards the rear now. Rex Adventure. Volcanic Impact, Pen and Ink, Big Penny, Apache Drums and Lifestyle Biscuits they get over the six. Which Seven Towers didn't take particularly well and shuffles back to join Judge Anderson and Beach Breeze in a share of second. Still moving better on the outside now is this Raging Thunder. But Mafal Remote, been there since the beginning for David Robertson. Passes the winning post out of a circuit to go, still taking a keen hold. As they take the left turn. It's about on the hurdle course as it would be on the chase course. As you can see, it's quite tight over there on the chase. But it's Mafel Remo leads by three to seven thousand Beach Breeze and Judge Anderson, Senchi Silent and Last Word, then a length back to X Adventure. Still really wide here is Raging Thunder, just on his inside is National Guard. Moving towards the rallies, I think X Adventure and Poor Doe, then the two Leon Van Rensburg horses, Apache Drums and Volcanic Impact. Pen and Inks in there. Just to the tail end, Charlie at the moment. His lifestyle biscuit for Hollywood, Derek Hinton. Not sure he'll be pleased with that. The other one I forgot to mention is just Big Penny as they go over the seventh. And they'll clear that big slow jump at the rear by lifestyle biscuit. Might just stop and have a cup of tea and a biscuit. But it's Mafel Remo with the lead just down to two now. Seven towers judge on. Anderson and Pordo get much closer, as well as Volcanic Impact. Running well is still his Beach Breeze. Up against the rail with, hasn't asked for anything, his Senchi Spirit as Beach Breeze comes alongside. They're over the ninth now and the lead's changed. It's Pordo, Seven Towers, Mafal, Remo and Judge Anderson all together as they swing left-handed to go into the home, towards the home straight. But it's Pordo, Seven Towers, Mafal, Remo up on the rail. Judge Anderson, length or so back to Volcanic Impact and last word. But as they come down to the next, it's Pordo and Seven Seven Towers, that's three from home. Moffel Remo gets up again from Pordo and Seven Towers and Judge Anderson. Volcanic Impact and Last Word look like they've got a bit to do. Moving well up on the outside now is Pen and Ink. Also Apache Drums trying to get through the pack as well is Last Word. But it's Seven Towers that noses in front with three furlongs left to run. Seven Towers from Pordo. Maffel Remo and Judge Anderson on the wide outside is Pen and Ink. Pushing through is Apache Drums and Beach Breeze. But it's Seven Towers that's headed for home. Inside the quarter miles, they come down to the penultimate. 
takes it well, this leader from Judge Anderson. Paul Doe, Pen and Ink on the outside, but Seven Tails still holding off all challenges. A further and a half left to run, and one to take, and it's Seven Tails over the last. A little slow, Judge Anderson up on his outside. Seven Tails and Judge Anderson. Judge Anderson's got a little bit more inside the final half, and it's Judge Anderson pulling away now from Seven Tails. Mafal Remo and X Adventure still trying to run, but it's going to be Judge Anderson for Josh Sutherland that takes the entry hurdle from Seven Towers. Mafal Remo. I think volcanic impact. But it's a win for Josh Sutherland. Gets his first of the day. Takes the entry hurdle from Seven Towers and Martin Leadham in second. X Adventure for David Robertson got up, not David Robertson, for Darren Thompson got up for third. Maffel Rima for David Robertson was fourth. And Big Penny didn't get a shout, but did well to get up there for fifth for Craig Beckwith. Well, it's the Grand National next. Good luck.